Sarah wanted to look at the milestones in a woman's life, from birth to marriage, to christening, to sisterhood, to womanhood, and to mourning. This is the Ophelia dress. We were inspired by the idea of the ceremony and the symbolism of the wedding dress. This was a wedding dress that was found at Portobello Market. Usually you find a jacket and a skirt, but we were very lucky to find the two pieces, and it was beautifully made with British honiton lace, paper taffeta, beautiful ruching and lace detailing. It was really inspiring, and we have this in the studio to inspire all of us um, throughout the process. And we scanned the wedding dress, so we had almost like the ghost of the wedding dress, so it was the ghost of Ophelia. The artwork is actually very intricate. We will engineer the print perfectly to fit the dress, so the two were kind of born together. We then start to work on miniature doll patterns. This is really the work of the atelier and the print studio working in parallel, creating a perfect symmetry. So the fabric development process is very important at McQueen and we work with wonderful suppliers and mills and printers in Italy. We tried different kind of silks, poplins, taffetas, trying to create the lightest and most evocative fabric that we could. And the idea was to break down the constraints of Victoriana and make something feel much lighter and much more modern than the Victorian pieces that we lo originally looked at. The fittings at McQueen are very important and this is where the creative process really happens. Trialling the different lengths, the different volumes of skirt, trying different proportions. Sarah would like cut into the print and place the flowers where she wanted them to be on the bodice. Going from the Victorian wedding dress through to make the final dress in Paris and within that dress there's so many stories from the wedding dress in Dorset to Julia and Margaret Cameron to the, the collective studio florals. At McQueen the archive is a living thing because Sarah will often bring things back maybe the following season or maybe a year or so later so it's not like a historical archive it's a really living working tool. We also read, watch films and we have a huge library which evolves every season and some of the books that we looked at for this collection from Julia Margaret Cameron, Hardy and also the pagan landscape of Britain. Another thing Sarah particularly loves are the pre-Raphaelites and their language of flowers. In the Palophilia, we try to create these very more innocent, purity, hope, the roses, the peonies. In this dark Ophelia, we're going towards slightly darker Victorian flowers, like yellow iris, forget-me-nots, pansies, playing with the symbolism of flowers, which was really related to the pre-Raphaelite paintings of the time. In the Palophilia, you see all the pale parts. Here, we inverted it, so you almost really see like an X-ray of the dress. I think there's probably about 100 layers within these dresses. Beautiful flowers that are mirroring each other. The whole thing together just had a, a beautiful sentiment of a woman's life. But this black embroidered trouser suit subverts the male formal wear tradition of the morning suit with the elaborate female Victorian tradition of the morning dress. This, in a way, is a woman's version of the male tuxedo. It was designed by Sarah Burton to give a woman's suit the power, presence and beauty to equal the impact of an evening dress. We looked back a lot of the signature McQueen tailoring in the archives and referenced them for this show in particular, playing with lots of different jacquards, taffetas, piecing and patching. In parallel, we were looking at Victorian swatch books. Some of these techniques we can't remake because the machines don't exist anymore. We try to modernise them when we're working with them, but we have many of these books in the studio that we collect. And Sarah wanted to create the idea of the, the tailor's stockman within this piece as well. The slash leaves, strong McQueen shoulder, wasted silhouettes and tailoring being the backbone of Alexander McQueen. Behind every piece is so many trials, of fabric and embroidery development, fringing, jet beading, cord work, knotting, intricate patterns and sequins. The jet was inspired by Victorian morning wear. We think of jet being French, but actually it came from Whitby in Yorkshire. Sarah also referenced the Dante collection, the sharp tailor dress, it inspired the uh, paisley embroidery that they used on the jacket, and then this beautiful corset that was part of the uh, Dante collection. The symmetry of the embroidery, the jet, the beautiful Victorian silhouette, the corsetry within the piece. The embroidery at McQueen is beautifully mirrored, has a wonderful symmetry. The embroidery for these pieces will be studied and expertly designed to fit inside the jacket perfectly. Here are all the pattern pieces that will have gone into the making of this suit. It's actually a very, very intricate pattern. The back was left exposed, patched with linen to pay homage in a way to the craftsmanship. It really is a beautiful creative labour of love. 
Every season when we're working on the collection, we as a studio will make these paper dolls, which are a miniature, 20 to 30 percent reduced scale of the perfect pattern piece. It's very McQueen to have something which is perfectly symmetrical, mirrored and engineered to the piece, and they will make a, this perfect doll. So when the final piece comes, it will look exactly like that. This is the cage lace dress. We call it Leon lace. We are very artisanal lace, which has been woven in, in Leon. The lace has actually been cut by the design studio and re to make a completely new design. It was inspired by pieces from the archive, but also from the idea of the christening dress. Um, we loved the idea of the, the muslins and the, the very fine rose embroideries and looking at Victorian photography, especially Julia Margaret Cameron and the way she portrayed children. The fascination for drawing fresh meaning from historical material is integral to the creative process at Alexander McQueen. Lace is a historical fabric but we can create new designs from lace. An old technique woven on artisan looms, there's only four looms left in, in the world that make this kind of lace in Lyon. The studio cut out the roses within this lace, reassembled them by hand and created these three-dimensional roses and then that began the long creative process of actually placing all the flowers and creating a symmetry. So it's like a lace on a lace. But then you have to give this kind of information to your embroiderers. Something very hands-on, then we have to work quite digitally to create the final piece. They were also working on the pattern of the dress and how the lace will fall in the sleeves, over the, the boned corsetry, always referencing the beautiful dress from the archive from the Saraband collection. Throughout the fitting process, the dress became longer, then eventually covered with the black and plique lace. We often look at Victorian corsetry and lingerie pieces. For the cage dress, we did look at breaking down the idea of being constructed and constrained into something much more modern and giving a woman freedom. For Spring Summer 19, we went into the West Country of England and we visited some very interesting pagan sites like the White Horses of Wiltshire, the ancient Neolithic stones in Avebury, and pagan sites in Somerset. The landscape here is really seeped through with tradition and stories, and that's something that Sarah loves to draw on. The Avalon marshes where King Arthur and Guinevere they walked through these woodlands and then had yellow iris and wildflowers wild swans, sort of tangled undergrowth. And some of the dresses at the end of the show were really inspired by the stories of Arthur and Guinevere and very strong uh, warrior women as well, which is another leaf motif from McQueen. That, the warrior woman, which is so important at McQueen, inspired by people like Joan of Arc or looking at medieval armour. Sarah wanted to explore the idea of articulation. These two pieces from the Queen archive were from the collection called It's Only a Game, inspired by US football kit and samurai armoury. These inspired the articulated processes and pieces in the Spring Summer 19 show. In the fitting, Sarah used pieces of motocross jackets, and also then looking at the flowers which we saw on our trip to inspire some of the hand painting. And the jacket's worn with a beautiful spiral knit dress. At McQueen, the knitwear is really special because we're working with such sophisticated machinery now and techniques. Knitwear can be totally engineered and almost knitted out of one piece. The dress would feel like a spiral around the body and feel quite slashed. You can see some of the motocross pieces that are actually arm patches, knee patches. The twirls that we used in the fitting, and they really are worked, drawn on, pinned, patched on, so really creating something very new. These were the fitting pieces where Sarah drew on, where she maybe would like the, the slash to be, or to reduce the scale, the volumes. The final jacket with its roots in medieval heroines and legends, then crafted in beautiful ponge leather, was then hand painted by the studio and by a group of artists that came in to help with this project. But also then trying to make the idea of motocross and biker jackets feel strong and feminine at the same time. It really is a beautiful creative labour of love.